Hey guys, I'm back with another chocolatey recipe. This week I'm showing you how to make my s'mores chocolate tart. It's absolutely delicious and perfect for you chocolate s'mores lovers. So I've got some sweet short crust pastry. I'm gonna start by rolling that out. I like to use shop bought, saves a bit of time, but you can make this at home if you'd like to. So roll that out to about four millimeters thick. I'm making mine in a rectangle tin. I just love the way it looks and the slices I get out of it. But if you don't have one, you can just use a normal round one. Once that's rolled out nice and smoothly, you can pop that onto your tart case. I love rolling mine onto greaseproof paper. That way it's much easier to transfer it over. So pick it up, bring in your case and flip it over. and then taking a fork, prick the base so it doesn't puff up too much in the oven. For pastry like this, you want to blind bake it. So I've got some greaseproof paper, I'm gonna pop that in the center and then fill that with some rice. You can just use baking beans. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge to chill and firm up while I preheat my oven. So that's been in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna remove the paper and the rice. I'm gonna pop that back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the pastry has dried out and it's nice and golden. My pastry has cooled. I'm now going to take a sharp knife and shave off the excess pastry. Part of the fun of baking is you get to eat the scrap bits along the way. There's something about pastry fresh from the oven that is so delicious. Time to make the delicious chocolate ganache filling. I've got some cream. I'm gonna heat that up in a small saucepan. And to that, I'm gonna add in some coffee. This is optional, but it really helps bring out the delicious chocolate flavor. You can't even taste the coffee. So pour that in. And you wanna heat that till it's very hot, but not boiling. And then using your spatula, make sure you keep stirring that as you don't want the bottom to catch. I've got some milk and dark chocolate in a bowl. I like using a mixture, that way it's not too sweet and it's not too bitter. And to that, I'm going to add in some unsalted butter. You also want your chocolate to be chopped finely, that way it will melt a lot quicker. Before your mixture comes to a boil, that's the moment you wanna take it off the heat. So now I'm gonna pour that over my chocolate. You now want to let that sit for about 20 to 30 seconds before stirring it into a lovely smooth chocolate mixture. To sweeten this up a bit, I'm going to sift over and mix in some icing sugar. Sometimes chocolate can taste a bit bitter, so add as much or as little to taste. I like to sift my icing sugar as it can sometimes get a bit lumpy. So sift that over. And that is the mixture done, it's so easy. I'm gonna pour that into my tart case, pop it in the fridge to set while I make the Swiss meringue. In my mixing bowl, I have some caster sugar, and to that, I'm gonna stir in my egg white. And then I'm gonna heat that over a pan of simmering water until it reaches 160 degrees. You wanna heat it gently. This is going to stabilize the eggs and make it safe to eat. My mixture is done. I'm gonna take that off and get it straight on the mixer. Then I'm gonna beat it until it's a lovely, fluffy, marshmallowy meringue. The mixture is done. It looks amazing, so fluffy and marshmallowy. I'm gonna pop that in a piping bag 
this isn't essential, you can just spoon it onto the tart. I'm using a teardrop piping nozzle. I'm gonna create some wiggles with the meringue, but you can use any piping tip or just spoon the mixture on, that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna pipe along the front. The tart's actually pretty much set and it's only really been in the fridge for about an hour. Now all that's left to do is to blow torch it, add a bit of colour and give it that s'mores look. So all that's left to do is to slice it up and enjoy. So that is how you make my s'mores chocolate tart. Easy. Thank <laughs> you.